purpose of today's event was to educate the people about the, the Santa Clara River and the Santa Clara River Parkway so that they understand the value that this river has, both from a, a biological perspective, but also just the, the valuable resource that we have in Southern California. I'm one of the founders of Keep Says Be Wild. It's been going, as we just heard, for 28 years. My goal today is to share about the Nature Conservancy and about the Santa Clara River. So I started off with friends of the Los Angeles River. About 10-12 years of effort. The Parkway Project is important to me uh, as an educator to make sure people are familiar with the areas that they live in. Everyone lives in a watershed. Um, so if you live in or near a river, um, there are river issues you need to, to know about. Um, one is water supply. Where do, you, know, you turn on the faucet, where does the water come from? It seems like it comes out of the wall, but indeed it comes from the river and then the, the groundwater. It's so important in these years of drought. Storms come in, the rivers flood, and because of the width of the river, that water can percolate into the ground and recharge our groundwater table. So that's the natural situation that ought to be going on. The other issues are flood protection. Residents are told, hey, your house might be in a floodplain. You need to understand what measures need to be taken to protect homes, but also um, how could that be done in a way that protects nature. A few decades ago, they built very tall flood walls. Um, a short segment of flood wall was proposed recently on the Santa Clara River, a short segment near Wagon Wheel. But um, after further assessment and a lot of good community input, um, the watershed district backed off and said, you know what, we'll, we'll minimize any kind of flood wall. Uh, the Santa Clara River and the Parkway is one of the last free rivers in Southern California. There are some dams on some of the tributaries, but primarily it is a free-flowing river that has a, the ability to flow naturally. The river is one large integrated ecological system, and the parkway uh, to me implies that it's a continuous system of a park-like setting along the river, and I think that's the only way that it makes sense because the river is a, a long, linear, living thing. And uh, the parkway means that it will all be preserved from one end to the other. Uh, as a community organizer, this parkway is very important for this community of Santa Paula because it's something that people have in their backyards but they have no access to it. So it's, you know, it's a river. Why not have that opportunity to enjoy it, to see the birds, to enjoy a walkway around it or something like that. And this community unfortunately does not have that access. The key features of any parkway is education and a place to go. So as an instructor at the college, I need a place to bring the community together, my students, so they can do research on the river, um, bring in other community uh, organizations as a center point. My job is to restore the natural habitats of a number of our properties that are along the river. The Nature Conservancy owns about 3,500 acres along the Santa Clara River, and we're restoring those areas for native habitats. Wow, looking into the future. Well, I see families walking trails around it with their kids, their children, especially during the summer, enjoying the weather, enjoying the different native plants that grow there and and it's just um, yeah just fun family time I would say especially here in Santa Paula it's, uh, there's a lot of families working families. All right well the parkway would be a beautiful green ribbon right through the Oxnard Plain. Uh, you would have bike trails along the edges, uh, horse trails, uh, pedestrian pathways so people can get from inland all the way out to the, the sea without having to go through traffic, riding bikes or, or walking. So it's a great connection area from one county, part of the county to the other. Well, I see more places where people can go for a, a half a day, you know, a few hours, even just an hour to stroll and enjoy it. Uh, little parks along the parkway as, is what I envision as a practical, a practical ultimate, you know, uh, project. The parkway looks like a beautiful river. It is has no concrete sides, no concrete levees. The uh, non-native plants are gone. We have native plants 
projects that encourages um, endangered species to thrive and expand beyond the river, and people have the ability to come down and enjoy the natural beauty.